Today, I'm really excited to show you my new vertical daily life planner. Now, this one's really fun because besides being a really cool planner, there's some really fun goodies that come with it. Now to start, we have this hand-drawn cover that I created in Procreate and the colors match exactly the colors that are used in the planner on the tabs. So that's really fun. In addition, there are 16 additional covers that you can paste in on top of the default cover if you'd like. And the way you do that is you go to your tool up here you have your lasso tool. You can circle this, choose copy, go into the planner and paste, and drag it to be the larger size. Now I noticed that, and you may have noticed this, when you paste things in, there's like this little tilt at the top. See how that's, there's a tilt there? So I looked it up and this is a known issue with good notes. So hopefully they're working to fix it. But there is kind of a workaround that I've discovered also. So I'm gonna take this cover off and I'm gonna choose a different cover because I need to be able to see the edges because what we're going to do is take a screenshot. So I have to be able to see the edges on that and on the rainbow one because it's got a white background. I can't really see the edges of the cover. So I'm going to take screenshot, save it to my camera roll and then go into my camera roll and edit it so we get rid of all the we crop it so we get rid of the white edges and then we press done. Now back in our planner, when we're on the cover, if we go to our camera roll, there it is. And for some reason, we don't have the tilt when we do it that way. So that's a workaround to be able to paste things in without that tilt because that tilt's super annoying and hopefully it's a high priority for good notes to fix it. So there you go, you have a different cover. And like I said, there are 16 to choose from and they all match. In addition, with this planner, you get these functional stickers that match. They have the same color theme. So you, they're all pre-cropped. So you could come over here and you can grab one and copy and paste it into your planner. The planner also comes with widgets. We have the days, months, and dates that are in the same font, which is noteworthy so that you can either create elements or you can just copy and paste these in because this is an undated planner. And there's also these widgets, which are alternate weekly spreads with Monday and Sunday start. And there's an alternate daily spread. And there's also a way to change your planner from a Sunday start to a Monday start in your monthly view. So let's go take a look. So in the planner, if we go to September, for example, I've put some of the dates in. And like I said, it's an undated planner. So you'll need to add your dates. And there's two ways to do that. You can either go into your elements and I have already uh, created elements with the dates with the date numbers so you can just choose those and put those in but a faster way to do it actually is if you come into your widgets and you use your lasso tool and you circle all the ones that you need and choose copy and then come back over here and you come over here and you paste if you expand it to the size you want this will save a lot of time so I'm gonna say okay this is a good size so now I can just quickly drag them into the right boxes. So that's the fastest way to do it, I've discovered. All right, so once we have all of our dates in, we can look at the daily spread. Now each box is tied to its own unique daily spread. So it doesn't matter what day you put in there, it will have its own unique daily spread. So today's the 22nd, so I'm gonna go to the 22nd and I already put in the month and the day, but it comes like this. You can either copy and paste the widgets or you can put the widgets as elements and then you can bring it in as an element. Uh, so if I go to my elements and I have September, and again, we have that tilt issue that GoodNotes is hopefully working on, but you can kinda tilt it so to make it level and then 23rd on this in this case. So we have the 22nd and 23rd. So this is our daily spread. As you see, there's a place to put your appointments, your hydration tracking. If you have specific habits, you can mark off the ones you do. You have your meal log and a to-do list. And like I said, there's a, there's a different daily spread that you can paste in if you prefer it. So there's personal tasks and work tasks. Now back in the month view, we also have access to weekly spreads. That's what these little triangles are for. So if I click on the triangle, it brings up a, the weekly spread for that week. And you can see what it looks like. If you prefer a Monday start, there's that as a widget that you can copy and paste in. And they're pre-cropped, so you don't have to screenshot it or anything. You can just come over here. You know, you can see they're pre-cropped. And there's also this look 
in a Monday and a Sunday start if you prefer that. Or if you have something from some other source, you can paste that in too, that's fine. It's linked to the triangle in the monthly view. And like I said, if you prefer a Monday start, you can copy and paste this kind of bar at the top and paste it on top of your monthly view and then you would have a Monday start monthly view. Now we also have our self-care section and there's one page tied to each month. So if we go to September, you see there's a place to put your habits. You see a place to put, you can track your number of steps. You can track your sleep. And the way that you do that is you would choose the highlighter pen and or however you want. The way I do it is I highlight the time I went to bed and the time I got up and then you can have a bunch of lines in here to kind of compare your sleep for the month. If we go to the finance tab, you see there's one page for each month. So if we go to September, there's a place to keep track of your expenses, your income, your debt, and you can mark off how much you've paid and what your new balance is to kind of track how it's going to pay off your debt. But with if you've used good notes you know that you can duplicate pages so we have our meal planner so you come over here and you choose duplicate and now there's two of them you can cop make as many copies as you need we have our reading log where you can keep track of the books you've read now to get the cover in here of a book that you like one way to do it is if you go into uh, goodreads you can take a screenshot of the cover now in my other life i'm an author this is one of my books in fact, if you're interested, I write romance, I write suspense, I wrote, write dystopian and post-apocalyptic. So look me up on Amazon, Christine Kersey. But if you, you can grab a screenshot like this and then crop it down, done, save to photos, and back in good notes in your camera roll, grab the picture, put it in the box and then you can give it a star rating. And one thing, if you don't know this already, um, when you do your highlighter, it will, even though you can see on top, once you finish, it pops it behind the star. So that makes it look nice and, and tidy. So you can give each book you read a star rating to remember if you liked it. Of course, I give this one five stars because I wrote it. So I thought it was a pretty good book. And the next thing we can look at is projects. Now this is a place where you can put the name of a project you're working on, the start and finish date, the cost, list all the items you purchased. And this area down here for project inspiration, the way that you can use this is again with your screenshotting. So if you come into Pinterest, for example, my husband and I are going to be putting up wainscoting and painting our family room. So if I take a screenshot by dragging my pencil from the bottom left corner, I can then crop it, save it to my photos, and then back in good notes go to my camera roll and I can put that as inspiration down here in this box and do as many as I want and of course you can make as many copies of this project plan page as you need we also have a place where you can set goals daily weekly monthly one year three year five years so set your goals here and you can make copies of this page as well and then one other thing on the index there's links to all the months of the year and these other sections as well as the tabs, but we have these 12 customizable sections and these fields correspond with these tabs. The numbers match and the colors match. So if you wanted to paste in something different or put in photos, whatever you want, you can do whatever you'd like. So what you could do is you come over here and I'm going to type in the word photos. And now I can either go tap this or tap the one. So if I tap this, I can bring in images. I'm just gonna use a picture of tomatoes for my garden, <laughs> but you can do whatever you'd like. So you can customize all 12 of these however you'd like. So if I go to the one, it also brings up the same page. These correspond to the fields in the index. The last thing I wanna show you though, is how this planner is lag free. So you can go to the month, the day, any tab you want, and it just moves right along so that really helps things but if this is a planner that you're interested in i sell it on etsy and like i said it comes with these covers it comes with these functional stickers it comes with these widgets so all these things come with it so it's a nice daily planner kit and it's in a vertical and i am going to be creating one in a horizontal as well if you're interested the link to purchase this on etsy is in the description and again please make sure and subscribe to my channel and if you found this video helpful please like it